Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video I've got for you. Uh, today I'm going to show you off the Magic Cauldron Swapper. So as of 117, everybody knows you can now farm lava using a cauldron. So you put lava on top of a block with a dripstone underneath and a cauldron and it will collect lava. Now some of the problem with these farms is they're not always the best looking. They kind of just look like this, often in a big square and then you use pistons to push them round. So what I've come up with you today is the magic cauldron swapper. So you can place this, this sort of front, in front of your lava farm, and then you can go in, take a lava, and then a lava gets replaced for you. And this is just sort of a cooler way uh, to see your lava. So today I'm gonna to show you how to, how to build this. Um, so rather than go round, round all your cauldrons, picking up the lava, you can just stand here and take a lava bucket whenever you need one. And the of this, it just looks a little bit nicer in your world rather than just a big line of those kind of cauldrons there. So one of the advantages of this system is, yeah, you can just stand here and take it. Now, I'm going to try and find an empty cauldron here because this is what this button does. In case you do get an empty one, like this one, I see it's empty. I can't take it. What you do, you can just click this button and then the system will replace it with another one like that. So uh, yeah, let's get started and I'll show, show you how to build this. Okay, so let's get started on the magma farm. Uh, first thing I want to do is build two blocks, place a cauldron, you'll need this amount of space below for the redstone, and then build this out into a square up to obviously 12 by 12, because that's how big you can make a, that's far as the piston and push limit goes. Um, and then build along a line of blocks, dripstone underneath, and then build yourself a border, doesn't have to be glass, obviously I'm just going to use glass for, for this. Um, the, the, these can be any blocks, doesn't need to be the dripstone block there either. And then a lava on top, uh, and build that into basically a big square. Here's one I've uh, already made over here, uh, but you can just build this out. Um, care point here is just to make sure this is the only corner you leave in. Make sure that the other three corners are uh, to have a gap there. And then the next thing you want to do is hit your redstone tab um, and place a piston behind this block here, just that one piston. Then for all the others, all the other corners, you want to place a observer facing into that one. Uh, blocks underneath, a piston facing back towards there where the piece rested on there, and then we just need to do that for each of the corners. And the last one. Okay, so it should look something like this to get you started. Okay, so let's get started on the redstone for this thing. Um, you want to choose a spot roughly in the middle, make sure you're not too close to either of the pistons on either side. And then you want to take out three block in the middle. So we're going to slightly reduce the efficiency of the farm, but um, that will be fine. Um, I'm going to take these out as well. Um, so we've just got plenty of space to work in. Um, oh, put the cauldrons back. Um, so the first thing you want to do is decide where your cauldron's going to be. So it's going to be two blocks up. From here, um, I'm not going to show you how to decorate in this video. You can you can decorate it as you wish. Um, I'm just going to sort of build a small uh, floor around it. Uh, Makes obviously you don't put blocks on top of those cauldrons there, uh, like that. Okay, so we can go underneath um, the floor here. Make sure it's the cauldron. We can take that one away because you've got one up there. And then underneath here, you want to place two ooh, two sticky pistons uh, facing up. Then go behind these two sticky pistons here, place a repeater, place that on four ticks, take an observer, and you're gonna to need to shift click to place that down. Now, so that's looking into the repeater there with a block on top. I place a block on top of there and on top of there, and one coming out here. This is where we take our comparator, we run that into a block with a redstone torch on the end of that. And then place a block on top of the comparator and a redstone dust on top of there. 
Next, take a steep piston and you want to come up, up against that redstone torch right here and it should power instantly. Take your observer, place that into that sticky piston and then want to place a block below that with a piece of redstone on top and then we can run that into that into that repeater there. So we'll come around to the side, place another piece of redstone and then we're going to place four repeaters. So four ticks for the first, the second, the third and the fourth can stay on a single tick. Take a redstone line up to here um, and then build a staircase up to uh, your repeater here. Um, not repeater, piston. And then place redstone touch dust coming up to that and then take a repeater output from this, from this bottom one here. And run this out all the way along here and then want to run that into this sticky piston here. Once again, that will be on four ticks. Let's get another observer facing into that one with a block on top. And that is essentially all the redstone we are going to need for this for this build. Um, I'll just get a button here because this one obviously is empty. So let's take a button. It can be any button. Um, just take a redstone button, place it on there, and our cauldron will be taken away and replaced with a new one. Let's do it again. Let's try and get to a cauldron that has a some lava in it. Perfect. There's that one. We'll take our bucket up here and we'll see if we take the lava away and another one gets replaced. So you want a quick explanation of how the redstone works here. Um, a comparator can read the output of a cauldron, so a cauldron with nothing in it. Um, let's get our um, comparator out and some uh, blocks. Let's get a polish bit around that though. Um, do you see a comparator has zero output right now? I've just got this um, vanilla tweaks resource back on that lets you see the, the, the power level of each of these redstone dusts. See when it's empty, it has no signal, and then when it's filled, it has a signal of three. So we use this on this circuit here. So at the moment, it's got a zero, so this piston is pushed down. Um, if I want to fill it up, you see it comes back up. So when we do empty it, it pulses and that's what triggers the system. Um, I'll leave the world download for you guys to have a look at this and, and check it out. Um, any questions, let me know. I'll, I'll see if I can answer them. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think. All right, see you in a bit.